Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm your host Jennifer Gianni, and today we're going to be talking about supine rib stands. So this, for a, a lot of people, especially a lot of women who tend to collapse in their lumbar spine and just let everything kind of spill out with no abdominal support, cinched in the back and really opened in the rib cage, a number of things are going on here. One is that we need to restore the, the natural thoracic curve, both in functional posi positions like sitting and standing, but for a person to really sense what we mean by restoring that thoracic curve and filling in that thoracic curve, opening it, then the floor is the best place for them to start to sense and embody this um, position of their natural thoracic curve. Um, one of the muscles or tissues that are very weak in this type of a posture, where we have a lot of, probably a lot of internal obliques on, not a lot of deep transverse abdominals here, is that the, a small muscle that lives up and under the rib cage, right kind of behind the sternum, that's called the transverse thoracic, which um, shares fascia and um, fiber lines with the transverse abdominis, lives here up and under the, the rib cage. And with this kind of posture, that muscle is really weak. So this next exercise is gonna help us to restore our thoracic curve and to strengthen uh, this muscle, this tissue that lives under our rib cage. So the best way to do this is first to have an incline pillow that supports the head and the upper back. As you get better and better at this, you can lose your incline, decrease it, and then finally lose it. Um, also, the best way to start this is with the knees bent and the feet on the floor. When you progress this, you can lengthen the legs because it'll challenge this a little bit more. So holding something like a yoga block between the hands, and as the arms go up and over the head, a lot of people will move their arms up and over their head by arching their back. So I want us to really think about breathing into that big beehive of our mid back, breathing our ribs down into the floor, opening the back of the diaphragm, and then on the exhale, maintaining that, allowing the thoracic spine to sink deeper and deeper into the floor. Now, another strategy that people will use, right? So this is one strategy, and then the opposite of that is this. So we don't wanna see that either. We want the pelvis to remain long and dropped, collapsed like a hanging basket, hanging off the legs. And at the same time, we want that fullness, that opening in the back rib cage as the arms go over the head, because now, Woo, now you can really feel that deep bikini line lateral pull, that sinking and stretching that we're always talking about. So this exercise is very simple, but very, very powerful. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.